What we want to do today is we want to look at transformations of polynomials and especially uh, power functions. So we can ask you for the function f of x is negative 2 x minus 1 to the fourth plus 3. State the base function and graph the base function. We can ask you to state the transformations in words. We can also ask you to graph the new function. So the base function is obviously f of x is x to the fourth. To state the transformations, oh sorry, before we, try, before we state the transformations, we want to graph the base function. So x to the fourth has a vertex at 0, 0, points at 1, 1, 1, negative 1. We know the end behavior. And we also pointed out that it has a wider x-intercept, right? It has a little bit of a wider x-intercept than we're used to with a parabola. Okay. So if we look at stating the uh, transformations, well, that negative 1 up there tells us that it has to be translated one unit to the right. The plus 3 tells us three units up. So now, is there a stretch or compression? Well, the 2 tells us that there's a vertically stretched by a factor of 2. And there's also a negative there. And that negative tells us that it's reflected vertically, or you can say across the x-axis. So now let's try to graph that. Well, first we have to move the vertex 1 to the right and move it 3 units up. So we can plot our new vertex. And from there, we have to plot our points, which used to be 1 to the right and 1 up. But now, they have to be 1 to the right and 2 down because of that. Uh, 1, it's ver vertically reflected. And 2, it is uh, stretched by a factor of 2. So instead of these points being up here and here, they have to be reflected and stretched by 2. All right. So that means that we have a graph which looks something like that, okay? So there's our graph that we like. Let's look at another example. For the function f of x is 3, negative, x, negative 2x plus 4 cubed minus 1. Graph the base function and graph f of x. So first, let's graph the base function, which is x cubed. So it's got a point at 0, 0, 1, 1, and negative 1, negative 1. So there's our base graph. And now, um, because of that whole business happening there, we have to do some factoring. So we can factor out negative 2, and we'll be left with negative 2x minus 2 cubed minus 1. So now, if we look at the negative 2 and negative 1, it's going to move our vertex 2 to the right and 1 down. So there's our vertex. Also, we used to have points at 1, 1, and negative 1, negative 1. So that's relative to the vertex. Now, however, there is a vertical stretch factor of 3 and a horizontal compression by 2. So that means that this point would get mapped over um, and if you think about what actually happened there, so instead of being 1, 1, now it's going to be negative 1 because the horizontal, negative half because the horizontal reflection and because of the uh, compression by a factor of 2, and it's going to go up 3 because of the vertical stretch factor. So that's where the point would end up. And the other point would end up right there. And that's, again, there's been a horizontal reflection, there's been a vertical stretch, and there's been a horizontal compression. And there is our graph. All right. OK, so that's the transformations. Um, and that's it.